today we're going to talk about nanotechnology. So the fun question for today is, if you were super, super tiny, what would you do to help people? What I would do to help people is if they drop their bubbles down from their mouth, I'll pick it up and before it cut the floor. Oh, no, mine is a teeny, teeny, tiny object. And I was going to say to fairy. Nanotechnology. Because that's so, 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 so tiny, you can't see it. It's so tiny, you can't see it at all, right? And that's kind of hard to think about. We all, all, we can only think about things that we see with our eyes. Um, hello. I am very, very happy of having you here today. Um, my name is Angelica Science Treviso or Angelica Science Treviso in Spanish. What is nanotechnology? Well, nanotechnology is the is a field and that allowed us allow us to study and manipulate nanomaterials to produce new or improved structures, materials and devices. You have this one, the mambas. Yes, I yeah, do. Everyone. And this is an I for initial, an F for final, and a T for time. I want you to take your ruler or your measuring tape, and I want you to measure the size. I want you to tell me how long it is. So mine is about 3.7. Okay, and now open your bag with the chili powder, okay? And I want you to put your hand like this, the candy on top, grab your spoon, <laughs> your invented spoon, and then get like half your spoon full of powder, okay? Only half, no more. It can be less than half, but not more than half, okay? And then you can mix it because we need the powder to integrate in our material. Remember that we are making a nanocomposite, right? We have a regular size material and we are mixing it with a powder because our chili powder is supposed to be our nanomaterial, okay? We will do what we did in the first time. Grab your hand like this and then start kneading. Okay, you have it? Okay, excellent. Who else? Who else is done? The mamba looks like a bean. Now, the next step, one finger, knead in the middle. Okay, remember that we have to change the shape. It has to look like an hourglass or something like that. Mine is about 3.5 centimeters. And that we write on the number two here and on the I because this is the initial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's breaking on the wrong side. Okay, what we just did is a tensile test because we were pulling our material, okay? But this is the original material. So I want you to take notes of the time it took you to break it, okay? and we grab the second candy, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mine broke at the 13. I want you to measure both broken pieces. So you put them together and like this. And then we will measure how the deformation, because we observe a change in size and shape, okay? So now mine, my number one final is six centimeters. And then for the other one with the chili powder, I have 11, oh, I'm sorry, 10.5 centimeters that our nano composite made with the chili powder, okay, excellent, has a much larger shape, right? So our tensile test, when we pull 
our candy is showing you some information. We have the natural candy, which broke, but kind of didn't change in shape that much. But the second one, it changed a lot. I have a question for you. Can you tell me why this happened? Why the one with the powder was able to ex to deform a lot? Um, so the, the chili powder. powder. I'm sorry. What about the chili powder? Um, the candy mixed up into the chili powder. How do you think it was able to stretch farther? Um, because, um, it had chili powder and it made it, like, stretch more. Yeah, actually, because we made a nanocomposite, right? We mixed the properties of the chili powder with the properties of the candy. So we got an improved material. We got a stronger material. And that was the purpose of scientists and engineers of working with nanocomposites. So you can improve what you already have. And why is this important? Because we we can make things last longer to we can make things do not break uh, if we pull them a little bit. They can resist longer times, okay? So that's why it's so important for you to understand why nanotechnology and nanocomposites can help us have a better life. <laughs>